Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at multiplying a row matrix by a column matrix. So this is one of the easier types of matrix multiplication that we can get, but it's quite a complex process and you'll make a lot of just uh, calculation errors if you don't really pay attention when you're doing this sort of stuff. So the most important thing which we have when we're doing these row and column multiplications is the matrix order or the, the dimensions of the matrix that we've talked about before. So we know that when we're working out the order or the dimensions of a matrix, we use this R multiplied by C rule. So we say a matrix is some number of rows multiplied by some number of columns. So if we're looking at this matrix here, this one on the left, we know it's got one, two, three rows. So we'd have three rows and it's going to be multiplied by some number of columns and it's got just the one column which goes down here. So this is a three by one matrix above us and then we've got this matrix here which is a uh, it's got one row so just the one row going from left to right so it's a one multiplied by a one two three so it's a one row by three column matrix so we say it's a one by three matrix so in past videos I've said that this R by C or the order is really important and here is where we're going to look at why so when you're doing a multiplication of two matrices, what's really important is that these two inside numbers, so the column, the number of columns in your first matrix matches the number of rows in your second matrix. So these two numbers have to be the same. If these numbers aren't the same, then what you'll find is you can't actually multiply your matrices together. So you need to make sure these are the same, and if they're not, you cannot do anything. So before you actually do anything, check to see that your matrices can be multiplied. If they can be multiplied, and if these two numbers are the same, then you'll see this number here. Th these two outside numbers will tell you the order of your resulting matrix. So if you have a 1 and a 1 in here, or these two numbers match like they do, we can say yes they match, we can multiply our two matrices together and the resulting matrix you're going to get is going to be a three row matrix by a three column matrix. So the outside numbers tell you the dimensions of your matrix. So the dimensions of your next matrix. So what we can do is we can say well we've got three by 1 and a 1 by 3, we can multiply them and it's going to form a 3 by 3 matrix. So we can kind of draw up a 3 by 3 matrix and that's what we're going to be filling in. So this will seem pretty complex when we first do it, but we're going to do another example after this one and hopefully by the end of it you guys will be well on top of it. But it is complex and it's quite confusing and there is a lot of scope to make mistakes, so if I make one please forgive me. So what we start by doing in a matrix is what we want to do is we want to multiply all of the rows so this row, these rows, by all of the columns. So the way you do that is you start with the first row, row 1, and you're going to multiply it by all of the columns. So you start with row 1, which is here, and you multiply downwards. And, and you put that over here. And when you're done, you move on to the next column. So if we were doing this in our current matrix, what we would do is we would say our first row contains the number 1. So we take the number 1 from our first row, and we multiply it by our first column. And in our first column, we have the number 4. So we say row 1 multiplied by this number 4. Our first number is going to be 1 by 4, and we put it over in the top left. So you can see that this is the first row and the first column of our resulting matrix. Then what we need to do is we need to multiply our first row with the second column. So we take our first row and we've got the number 1, and we multiply it with the second column. And in the second column, we've got the number 5. And then we put that in our first row and our second column of our table. So I'll draw, we've got columns up across the top, and then we've got these rows down the side. So we take our first row, multiply it by our second column. So we're going to have 1 multiplied by 5, so we're going to have 1 multiplied by we put it in the first row, second column. And then we're going to have, as our last value, we're going to have our first row multiplied by our third column. And we put it in our first row, third column. So we put a 1 here, 
and then we say it's multiplied by 6. So we're going to have 1 by 4, 1 by 5, and 1 by 6. And then we do the exact same thing for our second row. So we say our second row, we multiply it by our first column. So our second row has the number 2, and we multiply it by our first row, our first column, sorry, which is the number 4. 2 times 4, and we put it into our little matrix, new matrix over here. Then we say we have our second row multiplied by our second column. Second row, second column, 2 times by 5, so we're going to say 2, and then we put in a 5. And then for our last one, we're going to have the number 2, and we multiply our second row by our third column, so 2 by 6, and we put it down over here. So we get 2 multiplied by 6, and we put it down there. So then we've got our next row, and next row is the row, uh, third, third row, so we say our third row multiplied by our first column, third row by first column, so we're going to have 3 multiplied by 4, then we have our third row multiplied by our second column, so we're going to have 3 multiplied by 5, and then our third row multiplied by our third column, so 3 multiplied by 6, 3 multiplied by 6. So this is what our resulting matrix is going to look like. But what we can actually do is we can simplify it down. So we can say that this matrix here would be equal to, if we simplified this matrix down, we could say 1 multiplied by 4 in our top left hand corner is going to be 4. 1 multiplied by 5 in our middle column is going to be 5. 1 multiplied by 6 is going to be 6. Then our middle row, we've got 2 multiplied by 4 is going to be 8, 2 multiplied by 5 is going to be 10, and 2 multiplied by 6 is going to be 12. And then in our last row, we're going to have 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, and 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. And this here down the bottom would be our final matrix. And what you can see is the dimensions of this matrix, if we look at it, it's got one, two, three rows. So we would say it is a three row, and it's got one, two, three columns. So three by three, exactly like we had predicted earlier. So I hope the colors make it fairly easy to follow along. But that's our multiplication process, it's rows by columns. So that's our first matrix. Are we going to have a look at another example? So hopefully it becomes a little bit more clear. I'm just going to get rid of all this now. I'll leave up this order thing here. All right. So we've got another example of a matrix which we're wanting to multiply. So say we'll draw up another matrix. This time we're going to do, uh, we we'll use the number negative 2 and negative 3. And then here we can have positive 3, and we'll have positive 6. So what we need to check firstly is that we can actually multiply the matrices. So the way we do that is we go back to our R multiplied by C rule, and we say, okay, how many rows in our first matrix? 1, 2. So this is a 2 multiplied by 1 column, 2 by 1. Then we go to our second matrix, we say how many rows, and it's got just the one row. Then we look at the number of columns, and it's got one, two columns, so we say this is a whoops, one by two matrix. So what we do is we check to see if the inner two values are the same, and we'll say, yes, they're the same. So what we can then do is we can use these outer two values, so our twos, and we can say the resulting matrix that we get after multiplying these together is going to be a two row by two column. So we're going to get a two by two column matrix coming out of this. So we've got a two by two column matrix, a two by two matrix, sorry. And now what we can do is we've set up our two by two and we can just go through with the multiplication process. So it's going to be the exact same thing as we've just done. We start with the first row and we multiply it by the columns. So our first row, we've got negative two and our first column, we have positive 3, so we're going to say row by column, 
so it's going to be negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 it's going to be our first number when we put it in the top left then we're going to have negative 2 our first row multiplied by our second column so we're going to have negative 2 multiplied by our positive 6 so negative 2 multiplied by positive 6 and that's our first row done one two one two we've got two terms here then we say our second row which is going to be negative three multiplied by our first column so we've got two and one so negative three times by our positive three then we say we're going to have a negative three multiplied by our positive six so our second row second column we're going to get negative three multiplied by positive six and there we've completed the matrix so that's our matrix there but what we can do is we can simplify this down and we can say okay what we can do is we can just say negative two times negative three is going to be negative six then we've got negative two times positive six which is going to be negative twelve and then we've got negative three times by uh, positive 3, that's going to give us negative 9, and we've got negative 3 times by 6, and that's going to give us negative 18. So that's how we do a row by column multiplication. It's just an introduction, but make sure you can get a, your head around this because it's quite complex and we can make a few arithmetic errors if we're not careful. So if you're comfortable doing that, go and have a look at the um, when we start doing multiplying 2 by 2 matrices by 2 by 2 matrices and hopefully you can do that. So I'll put out some examples for you guys to have a go at but try to get your head around just the basic principles first. Cheers guys.